Good morning, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Boca Grande, Florida. I am a, an independence stamping up demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for almost 12 years, not quite. And I have two fun projects for you today. Let's see if we can find ourselves on the iPad. So uh, let me know when you when you get on here, please. Let's see what's, there we go. Oh, it seems it's very windy here today. Oh, I see someone is on fire. That's great. Um, let us know who you are and where, what state you're coming from. It is very windy here in Boca Grande. It's about 60 degrees. Thank you for the hearts. And I hope we have a decent internet connection today. It's been a little spotty. I can't get the printer to work. Uh, and that's all geared with or connected with Wi-Fi. Oh, good morning, Kathy. You're from snowy Bozeman, Montana. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're getting some snow finally. So I, my husband and I live in Bozeman, Montana and for several months of the year, and we are here, but we're here in Florida for uh, three months, and it's been really good for me. I've been rehabbing from my back surgery. I've been able to walk almost every day. We've had some pretty rainy weather and much cooler than most years, but it's still been good. Good morning, Levon. Right now, my sister Chris and her husband AJ are here, and my cousin Dean and Amy are here from, um, they live in a suburb outside of um, Chicago, so they're here visiting too. So anyway, it's good to see everyone this morning. Thumbs up are always great hearts, all those things. Oh, hey, Carla, I don't know what's happening right now. I just got some glitter going. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know, it must be a new thing. Carla, how's the weather in Wisconsin? Um, anyway, keep those thumbs up, hearts, all those little things. Facebook likes that. Then they show the video more, more often. Good morning, Linda Wilmuth. Good to see you this morning from Montana. So I have lots of fun things today. I do want to remind you that um, we have celebration going on right now. Of course, you all, most of you know that. Anytime you purchase a $50 order, you get a free choice. If you purchase $100, you can choose things from the back of the catalog that are valued at $100. And there's some really great ones. There's a Super duper, my favorite embossing folder and stamp is the uh, Softly Sophisticated. There's a great uh, detailed dogwood. Those are all $100. And then I want to show you that Stamping Up uh, last week added some new items to the celebration freebies. So if you spend $100, you can choose these um, stamp and write markers. These are great for coloring on your stamps and then stamping with them or for writing a note. Anyway, these are the uh, in the new in core in colors um, that were added this past October. So I, I was able to get that with one of my orders. So, and then here's another one that I think is, I was going to print this out for you, but my printer's not working, I, as I told you. This is a, uh, another thing they have added is this huge, huge pack of paper. It's in the annual catalog. It is called Delightfully Eclectic. This good morning. Good morning, it's 30 degrees, snow is melting. But look at the number, you get 48 sheets of this paper. I'm just gonna flip it like this so you can sort of see it. It's a really great, it's a great value. <coughs> <coughs> Swallow <coughs> Swallow some air there. <coughs> Let me just see. Anyway, there's there are a lot of new things. Whenever you order, at the end of your order, it takes you to the section for for celebration, and all of those new things are there. But you can also go to my website, corinnescrafts.stampingup.net. I'll you'll see it in a little bit, or you can go to stampingup.com. And you can see all the new things that have been added. Also, if you're a demonstrator, one of the greatest perks about being a demonstrator is getting to pre-order. And uh, I got my pre-order yesterday. This is for online exclusives. This starts for customers March 5th, but we demonstrators got to pre-order, so it's pretty cool. 
and I, I'll show you a couple of things I've already made this morning. I actually made them this morning, but I'm doing a swap. Um, anyway, so, okay, let me see once again. I am Corinne Braxton, and I'm coming to you live today from Boca Grande, Florida. It's about 60 degrees here. Um, it's sort of cool. We're going to go to lunch and eat outside. We're going to have to really bundle up after we finish this video. So, any, oh, I want to tell you one thing I have coming up. Um, I had a lot of people sign up for my class last week. This week is sort of different. This class is different. This Friday, I'm going to check the times. I'm going to do a craft along. And that's like my cookies, cards, and coffee, which I do in person when I'm back in Montana. But a craft along is where I'm going to do three cards. And if you choose to order the kit you will make six cards. You'll make two of each card. So for example, this is one of the cards that we're going to be making um, like this. Anyway, it, you would make, you would, I will do all the cutting, the designer paper, the embossing, everything. Um, two of the cards have a lot of embossing and a lot of die cutting. I've done all that already for you. And then you get to just assemble it. You'll get some gems and you'll get uh, typed tutorials if I can get my printer to work again. Anyway, that is this Friday. It's going to be at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Central, 12 o'clock Mountain, 11 o'clock Pacific. And I will put that on my um, business page several times so you know. I'll also put it in my email. And please, if you don't get, if you're not on my email list, please let me know. Send me a text or an email and, um, or a private message, anything, just so that I can put you on my email list. Or you can go into my Crafting Creations and join there. Um, okay, I think that's it. I think we're ready to switch, uh, put the camera down. The set that we're going to be using today is called Delicate Forest. This one, it's beautiful. And it's just a great set of stamps that are good for sympathy or thinking of you has a lot of dyes and we're going to be using these today too so they're pretty neat okay let's start we're going to do an easy we're going to do an easy card first and then the second card that we do will be at my very very favorite fun fold that i love to do okay so um here is, let's see, let's bring in our parts and pieces that we have to flip the camera down. Forgot about that. We better do that first. Okay, here we go. Let's turn the camera down. Close your eyes. Okay. Let's see if I can get up. I knew it. We have sort of a weak connection today. I'm going to keep... Keep trying, so keep. There we go. I can't seem to um, zoom in very well either. Everything is sort of locked in place. Okay, I'm just gonna st I'm just gonna leave it for right now. These are some cards. Um, these are two that I made this morning for my with a brand new paper. This is called. Uh, This will be coming out March 5th, but it, right now we can get it in the demonstrator with a de as a demonstrator order pre-order. It's called Latte Love, great coffee and tea set, and there are more, but I have them over in my other station. So anyway, um, it's really a nice set. I really love the designer paper and everything. So hopefully we're going to be able to, we're going we're gonna to get through this video, I think. See if I can get, I just can't, there we go. It's a little bit better. Get this straightened out a little bit. It sort of bugs me otherwise. It bugs you too. So there we go. And this card is one of them. It's going to be on my Friday craft along. I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's see. Let's put these aside. Here's my host code for February. I always appreciate it if you use the host code when you order online. That helps me. Uh, get prizes so that I can send to you for as thank you gifts. All of my orders do get thank you gifts. So um, this morning we're going to be using the stamps that are from, we're going to be using the dies called um, Everyday Detail Dies. So we're going to be using those. Um, 
on one of the cards. And then the other one set that we're using is, let me see if I can open my catalog. There we go. It's this one on page 17. Page 17 of the mini catalog. It's called Delicate Forest Bundle. And the the number is there. And I have this on my, my tutorial too. $52 is the bundle price. Remember, you always save 10% with the bundle price. Anyway, okay, let's start. We have, um, there's another online exclusive that has been out for a while, and it is this beautiful meandering paper. I, may, I bet some of you have this one. If you do, it you know how wonderful it is. It's just like one of the coolest papers ever. Sort of a scenic picture on one side, and on the back, a lot of clouds, lots of designer paper that's sort of neutral like this. Anyway, we're going to use a piece of this today. So I received a uh, a swap card. I'm, I do a lot of swapping with other demonstrators and my team. And I received a card. Uh, this is the card I received. It was from Betty Weisbrick. And I thought it was just so beautiful, this white on white. I love that. She used, that's a designer paper from I think it's from either the bird set or the stippled flower, stippled roses set. I'm not sure that background paper, but and those are all die cut. These are all die cuts. Anyway, I just thought it was so pretty with that white. Um, anyway, this is what I made. So I took the meandering paper and made. Um, I wonder what that other little shadow is. Okay, okay. Anyway, made these. So, hoping each passing day lets a little bit more sunshine. Stay strong, my friend. You'll get through this. Uh, they're just a... And then there is a... There's a brand new set. This is, this is part of the online exclusive called Comforting Thoughts. I just thought this was such a great set. This would really be nice with this set, too. These are nice... I think these are nice outside greetings, but you could use something like any of these. Um, I wish I could make this better. Cancer sucks. I'm here for you, wishing you comfort. Those are just nice sentiments, thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. I just thought, oh, wow, those are great for the inside. Um, anyway, I just got that last night, so I did not even put it on a block. But anyway, so we're going to make this. I keep running into the lights here. Let's see if I can, there we go. So, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make one of these from scratch. And these little, oh, I didn't want to tell you that. These, um, the gems, where are they? Here they are, I cut mine in half. Um, these are the birds and the dragonflies. These were on back order for such a long time, but and they come, they're double this size. I just had mine cut in half. Anyway, they are back in stock. So if you're um, interested in those, that number is one six two seven four three, and they are fabulous. They'll probably they'll probably sell out again. They are so thin. They're paper thin. Anyway, so let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Set that right over here so I can take sort of look at it. We're gonna start with a, oh, I bet I, I probably did not put the measurements on this card. It's so easy that I didn't think you needed them. I think that's what it is. Okay, so we have just a side folding card. It is going to be five and a half, five and a half this way, eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. That's our basic side folding card. And we're going to give it a good bone fold right there. Set that aside. And then I want, we have to use a, um, I have two sheets, two sheets of this designer paper, the Meandering Meadow. And I'm gonna show you which, show you both of them. I'm gonna show you how, to, how I would cut them down. So in order to get a, a frame like this, this was sort of interesting because when I first die cut, I just took a, took a bigger sheet of paper and put my die in there. But uh, let me show you this. It does not cut around the outside. Oh, it does not cut. I've still got my little tape on here. I'll take that off. 
my post-it tape. Anyway, so I just, I didn't, but then I realized, oh, you have to put it on, this is a four inch by five and a quarter, and I put it on like this, and I taped it in place because you want your borders to be even around the edges. You want the bottom and the top to be fairly decent. And then I taped it and then I ran through the die cutting machine and it works just as slick as can be that way. But you have, you also, it cuts out things beautifully. It just drops out. But I want you to notice this. Do you see all these little tiny, well, there's one that I didn't get. Some of these look like, oh, hmm, it looks like it didn't die cut. Well, that's not true at all. But you see how this, we've had these before. They sort of pick up. They're just like half die cut. And then you can sort of pull them up like that with your take your pick tool. Like just like that. And sort of cool. Anyway, so it's really very, very fun. So now let's do this together. Um... Normally, I would, sh I would just sort of do it, and um, I'm just going to, we're going to cut our background almost the same size. This is four by five and a quarter, and uh, I'll just put that on a little post-it note for you. Four inches by five and a quarter, a basic mat size, and um, right there we go. And I sort of, you can just move it around like this. You can put that big tree in there if you wanted, and the flowers. I sort of like having those purple mountains in there. You have to get, um, and I sort of like just about like that. I'm going to mark it. You would probably mark it with a pencil, but anyway, I don't have a pencil here, so I'm gonna do the pen. And then, um, so that one's gonna be that one. And then this one would be, you just move it around, like, okay, do I like that tree? You're gonna have a little, you're gonna have another couple inches right there, or do you wanna have no trees, like, like this one, you would it would be more in the middle of the paper. Um, then you'd have to do a few more cuts. I'm gonna just do probably this way. Um, just going to give it a little like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and we're gonna just cut it like this. I'm gonna see what it measures. It measures right at four inches. I'm gonna do slightly less. Just a hair less I can save this piece. And again, this would be five and a fourth would be the, the size. And that's pretty much what I marked it. I'm gonna do slightly less. I'm gonna save these pieces. You can always use them for the inside of your card or whatever you want. Okay, and there's one. Let me do the other one so you get the gist of it again. So uh, again, we're gonna, we're gonna do this way so we get those mountains in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark it at just a little bit under four inches, just a hair. I don't even, it's probably a 16th. Um, oops, let's see, let's run it this way. Five and a fourth is the measurement of our white, but I'm gonna do slightly less, slightly less, and that's gonna be cut off, and there is our part, and that's just how easy it is. Okay, let me find my, what did I do with my little, um, what did I do with my little, sh uh, my little silicone mats that I always use? Hmm. That's so weird, I can't find it now. I had two of them right here. Oh, there they are. There they are. Alrighty. So what we're going to do, which one do you like? Do you like the one with the yellow? You tell me, the one with the yellow? Or the one with the with the uh, the white and the white flowers. Which do you like better? Okay, let's you vote on that while we get some do some stamping. So I'm going to put these things away so I don't lose them and get our stamps out. We're going to do some stamping on um, these labels. There are two labels that are in this die set. You can see them right here. One's a narrow. One, I like that one, and I like this. They're both just wonderful. And it has extra little greenery, too, with that. I have the little pieces on it. Um, anyway, which one are you saying? Let's see if I can see any comments here. Um, 
I can't read those straight left, okay. The white flowers, both are stunning. The white flowers, the yellow flowers. Hi, Ann. Glad you got your, your kit last yesterday. Oh, Susan, you said I had no idea about that dye. The little pieces are to lift up. Yes, we had a, uh, a hydrangea stamp that was similar a couple of years ago. And it, sometimes we, and we, maybe even there's another one in the catalog too. I don't even know what it's called right now. But um, anyway, that's what those do. They just po poke up. So we're not going to be putting adhesive on those. So you keep voting. Do you want the, the white flowers or the, the yellow? White or yellow? And we're going to get my uh, chamois out, right? Not my chamois, my piercing mat. And we're going to do some stamping. We'll, we'll do one of each. And let me see once. So we're gonna do, oh, let's see what's here. Okay, we're going to use Garden Green and we're going to stamp hoping, we're gonna do the hoping each passing day lifts a little in, lets in a little bit more sunshine. Um, okay. I was going to do the other one, but I guess I didn't put it on a block. There we go. There we have that. And let me clean that one. Let me just, I think I'm just going to peel that one off and put the other one on. I don't, I thought I had it on, but I didn't. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Anyway, that'll be fine. We'll just do that one. Okay. And then we have, there's also a, a, a part for your tree or a reflection. It could be for the, the mound by the grass. Um, I didn't, I used it on, on something and then I didn't really like it. So anyway, let's put, um, we're going to do other inside. Hoping each passing day lets in a little bit more sunshine. And I sort of smeared that one, I think. So we're going to stamp our tree. This is the coolest tree ever. Just look at that. And you can just go next to it. And it's so pretty. Just a beautiful, beautiful tree. And I think it's a set that it's a little bit of a sleeper. So we're going to put um, Sending Our Love. And are you all still voting on the yellow or the white? That's what we're going to Sending Our Love. I'm going to clean that on my chamois and close that up. That's gonna be the inside of our card. But I'm, my, looks like I smeared this sunshine, so I'm gonna stamp. Let's see, what's, let's do that again. Let's just stamp. Let us do that again, and I took it off the block. Stay strong, my friend. Does that work on there? Yeah, that's gonna work. Let's do that one. Let, let's do this, okay? Oop, I need a larger block. I'm gonna use this one. Anytime you're, I'm gonna take that one off. You just throw it down, let it, let it rest. Actually, what I like to do is put it on my grid paper. Let me see if I can find a piece of grid paper here. Here's one. And I put it on my grid paper and I line it up like this. I line it along the bottom or the top put it on my block like that, and then I can stamp. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to remount that other one then. But that's okay, it's not, a, it's not hard one bit. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this. Now, I think this is going to fit. Stay strong, my friends. My friend, I thought this was a perfect sentiment for someone they're going through a really hard time. Oh, I like that a lot. That's better. It doesn't have that little bit of blur. So, okay. And this is how easy the rest of this card is. I'm going to clean that one really quick on my chamois. So I have a chamois that I've cut in half right here. And it gets really dirty. But I just soak them and they just squeeze the water out. And they, they're clean as can be. They just look dirty. But they're not. Okay. So we're gonna put that aside. Okay, which one do you want me to do? What was the vote? 
yellow, yellow, both are white, yellow. Hmm. Good morning, Martina, Jeannie, Joey. Good morning. Good to see you, Joey. Darcy. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, it's so good to see so many of you this morning. Huh. Both are great. Yellow, white flowers. Both are stunning. I think it's just about even. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Let, let's see. Let's take a look once. And where did I put those little things? Here's our card. Oh, they're right there underneath. And hmm, this is very pretty. This one's a little more subtle. Let's do the, the brighter one with the yellow, okay? Let's, I'll just make that decision. And we had sort of equal numbers. Um, this I am going to use my uh, Tombow. Um, you probably know I, I much prefer using my my adhesive run tape runners, my seal. But on this, it's so narrow. You need to really do it with something like a fine tip glue. We also sell that fine tip glue. And I'm just doing a fine bead. Not You don't need much. You're just going to put a little bit along here. Um, right along. Just a thin bead. Right along the edge like that. Okay. I don't know if I got some right there or not. It is such a fine bead. Let me show you. I don't, I you know, I probably do. I do not like to pick up things, but you can see how tiny that glue is. It's just a really thin line of glue on my silicone mat here. And then I'm just going to pop this over. I can lift it up like that. It's like a, it's a reverse tweezers. We have them in our catalog with the, um, not this one, but the one that goes with the stamp, the embossing buddy. There we have that. Okay, that looks perfect. And so I'm going to let that glue dry a little bit, but you would be able to, you know, you can poke out. Oh, I see another one that I didn't poke out. This one right there. But you can see that some of these you can lift up with your, just lift them up like this. So you want to make sure you don't get your glue way in there. You just put it right along the edge. And you can just sort of curl those leaves up. Now, they will get sort of smashed down in the mail again. But if you're giving someone a card in person, you would get it. So here's the inside of our card. Here's the outside. We're just going to put that on like that. Get our stamping seal. And like that. Pick it up. Put it down. You could, you could use your dimensionals. That would work, too. Okay, and um, that was, again, that was four by five and a fourth. And now I'm going to put my, I'm going to use dimensionals on my Stay Strong, my friend. And let me get my, I have a brand new package of dimensionals that I just opened up this morning. I got so carried away with those coffee cups that I was making for the online exclusives. They were really fun. Um... I signed it for a, for a swap, and I already have both cards designed. I'm so excited about that. It'll take me a while to produce that many. You know, we have to do 16, so of each. But anyway, okay, now I want to I wanna keep that purple in my mountains, so I'm going to put this down here a little bit further, I think, to cover up a little bit of the yellow. It doesn't make any difference where you put it. So I think I'll put it right there. Make sure everything is lined up nice and straight. Before you, before you put it down when you're really strong like that, you want to just check it. And um, there we have it. And let's put some dimensional, some not dimensional, some of our birds and our, uh, I'm going to do the birds. We're going to do one bird. I, I love, what I love about this is Stamping Up gave us, we have birds that are going different directions. Oops. So... That, one's, that one looks like it's it's like dead. It was flying upside down. Okay, there's one that's flying to the middle of the card. And then I'm going to take another one that is from up here. And it's going to fly to the middle. I like focusing my things to come toward the center of the card. And there we have it. And I'm going to put one uh, dragonfly down here. Maybe, oh, maybe right there. 
We have a nice little triangle. And there is our card all finished. Remember these have come back into uh, stock and they're still available. So um, also I wanted to make sure to tell you too that on Friday when I do my, my craft along, that will be, um, that's a, it's a $40. If you would like to purchase it, it's the, the kit is $40 and I'll ship it to you all, everything all done and with the gems included. Or if you make a $50 purchase or more, you get a free celebration item plus my kit. You can tell me your order or you can um, put your order in yourself. So it's very easy to do that. Camping Up has done a much better job now of online ordering, and that's really great with these online exclusives. So here we have the one today with the yellow, and the, these are the other two that I did before. Do you have a favorite? So, oh, there's Joey saying hi to my sister Carla, who she's met on a trip before. Joey and I are friends. Joey's from Nebraska, and I know some of you watch her, and uh, she's a good friend of mine. And we are often on trips together that we earn. So we have met, we met probably, eight, oh, I'm going to say seven years ago. Okay, those are those cards. Again, Delicate Forest is the name of our stamp. So now we are going to do, oh my goodness, this is my favorite fun fold. I've done these before. We're going to use the Flight and Airy. This is the free celebration paper. We're going to use the reverse of the flowers and the birds. Well, mostly the reverse. But it's really beautiful free paper. It's still available. Love these. That's Pecan Pie and Lost Lagoon. Okay. I'm going to show you the cards. Well, I'll, I'm going to tell you about my inspiration first. Okay. So, in my craft room here in, in Florida... I have some cards from last year that I made. Well, this was the one I did right at Easter time. Do you remember this beautiful set that he has risen? So I thought, oh, I love that. Um, and I sent a lot of these out, but I had one left. And I thought, hmm, I haven't done this for a while. This is the, it's just a fun fold that's super simple. And then, and then I received this one in the mail from um, my friend Brenda in Illinois as a thank you gift. A thank you note, and uh, she did the same thing. Here's another one. This is one that we're going to do in the craft along. So we're going to do that one. Here's another one I did with this. Um, this is poetic expressions paper, I believe. And I had just sort of, I was just had leftover pieces. That was a little crooked. You're in my heart and prayers. Um, but anyway, it's a great set. And here I put a little bit of paper at the bottom. Here's another card I made with this. It's just, this one I had stamped some brown dirt at the bottom and didn't like it at all. So I cut some designer paper and put it over there, over that. And, um, anyway, they're really fun. Very, very fun cards to make. And easy. Super, super easy. Okay. So we're going to take out our kit. I'm going to show you what we're making. I got a little carried away because I couldn't stop making them. I thought, which one do I like better? Well, I know I definitely do not like these little branches coming out the side like I did on the that He Has Risen one. That was so pretty, I thought, with, with those coming out the side. But these are some dies that are in this set, but I just don't like those coming out that way. So I'm going to pull those, take those out. But there's the freesia underneath with the birds and then the paper like that. And there's a little tree. This one is the pecan pie. Sending our love. And I'm using the pretty, pretty peacock and lost lagoon are the colors that I'm pretty much using. Here I used a little blue that's in the paper like that. And this is that new everyday detail die that um, we have. So we're going to make one of these this morning. Okay. Easy peasy cards for sure. Okay. We'll see if we have time for an envelope too. Okay. We've got a bunch of different choices. I've got some thick white bases here. I don't want to lose all these other pieces while I'm bringing my paper trimmer in here. 
And so let me see. Okay, I've got a thick white. I always use thick for my bases. Four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half like that. And that's, and then we're going to cut off, this is the magic number, two and three fourths. And I've written this here and also these are all be typed and at the end of my my video, I will, um, it'll give me, take, give me five minutes and then I will put that up. And also it takes me about an hour to get it downloaded to, uh, or uploaded to um, YouTube, but it, they'll, all the directions will be there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off, I'm gonna open up my card, I've already scored it. I'm gonna bring in my trimmer. I'm gonna cut it off at two and three fourths. Let's see if I can bring it down so you can see it maybe. There we go. Two and three fourths, I'm gonna give it a cut like that. I'm gonna save this piece because this is what we're going to turn like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one, cut it off. Two and three fourths, cut it off, flip it, and turn it. Now it could this could be it could be a horizontal card like this, or it could be a vertical card like that. Either way, doesn't make that's all the trimming we have to do. I've done all the rest. And let's bring in our pieces. So that was just a basic four and a quarter by 11 card. I'm gonna set that aside right there and we're going to just see how we like this. We're gonna put this pecan pie one. I thought this brown would have be too much, but I actually like the contrast with the, with the combination. So this goes on the inside of our card like that. There we go. On this one, on the other, we're gonna make two cards that we might as well, because it's fast. And um, we'll just do two of them. They'll be slightly different. We're gonna do this one with the Lost Lagoon piece, like that. Okay, that was four by five and a quarter. And there we have that. Now we're gonna take our other pieces. The other measurement is two and a half by four. And I've cut several of these two and a half by four. So there, I'm gonna just set that right there. If you want a screenshot, you can, you can do that. Um, that one's gonna go there. And this one, we could do either one with the print, like this. You need to cut, you know, we could do the blue, either one, like that. Um, I think we're gonna do it this way, like this. We'll do it, turn it that way. And then we're gonna do the blue, this over here like that. You could also, um, this one is going to go like this. We're gonna have, it's mostly gonna be covered up by our white. So anyway, two and a half by four. So that's what we're doing next. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add those pieces. So we're just, this is all just a quarter of an inch smaller than that white piece that we cut off. Just like that. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let's see what's, oh, you love that pecan? I do too, right, Susan? Hey, Phyllis, good to see you. Oh, thank you. Your sound is gone, huh? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know what causes things to happen, but today is definitely a day of, challenges with, um, I think probably because of the wind here. So let's see once it looks like maybe this, oh, I don't know, maybe do it this way. We'll do it this way, like, it doesn't make any difference. There's no right or wrong, okay? And then this is going to get put on there like that. Um, we could also do it like that. So either way, but we're gonna just put our adhesive along the top. And sometimes if you want, you could use your seal plus so you're really strong. And I try to get my, um, get this all adhered so that it's even on the bottom and even on the top. Okay, like that, that one's done. Let's do this one. And this is a great way to use up design. I wanted to show off the designer paper and I think this does that very well. It's a good way to use up your designer paper. So, okay, let's see once here, maybe. Let's put that there and put 
Okay. Um, there we go. And this is going to be a very neutral color with this together. So just like that. How many of you are crafting with me right now as you're watching? Um, you might be working on something else, but you might be trying this yourself too. I hope you will give it a chance. It's so fun. It's one of my favorites, my absolute favorites. And I never need to even look at the directions. I have them all printed up and everything for you, typed up for you, but it's one that I just like, just sort of can do by the top of my head. Um, so there we have it. We have two pieces and now we're going to do our, this is going to go on next. It's this part that we're going to stamp on. This is the everyday details. And then I'm going to use some of these deckled edge pieces to do our inside, just so you have a little bit of space to write. And let's see here once. Let's get our, oh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to set those right there. We're going to bring in this and um, let's just bring, put this aside for a minute. We're going to do some stamping. And where are, here's my mat, my piercing mat. Okay. Can you still hear, can you hear me at all? Um, Levon, you said you couldn't hear me. I'm going to see if I can turn, make sure the volume there, it was turned down. I think it must have hit something. Uh, hey, Deborah, good to see you this morning. We're going to use pe um, Pretty Peacock. And we are going to stamp Pretty Peacock. We're going to stamp our tree. And watch this, what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to turn it sideways, just um, like that. Whenever you have a skinny stem on a tree or a leaf or something, don't press hard on that because it can really make a mess and be distorted. So I don't even touch that part. I'm just pressing right there. Then I'm going to stamp right next to it. That's my second generation of ink. And there's even a third. I'm going down a little bit. Again, I'm going to ink it up. So you have three generations of color. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to ink it up again. I'm going to do, there's full strength, part the second generation, and third generation. Look how, and you, there are some samples in the catalog that show that those different generations of color too, but I think it's really cool. Okay, now we're going to put um, the sentiment on there. Let me see, let's see if I can find my sentiments and my pieces. There we go. Um, let's get another sentiment out, and we're going to do that. I've got my gems. So I did cut some of these, but I just do not like that sticking out the side. It looks like antlers or something. Um, and we don't want that. So now I have a different set of stamps, or it's the same set of stamps, but it is um, the longer one. Here, I'm going to get my little grid out, the grid paper, and I'm going to just, just drop it down, let it relax, and I like to sort of get it all lined up with one of the, uh, the lines on my grid paper, and then I put my block on like that. And this one is going to say, um, you make good things better. It's a great set, saying, isn't it? You make Good things better. Okay, I'm gonna stamp that right there, ink it up, and again right there. And there we have it. All done. And now let's um let's bring in our little piece. We'll set those aside over here. We're gonna bring in our card. Oh, our little mats. This is gonna be for the inside. We're gonna do two of these. So this is pretty fast, isn't it? It's fun card for sure and we're going to put this little tiny so it's like a tree off in the distance but pretty nice i think and let's see once did i um you make things good things better and you could do sending our love let's see where i put that one i think i'll just put it on one of those like that 
Yeah, maybe I will put one on the other two. There we go. I think these are perfect for just a really nice sympathy card. I always seem to need sympathy. I run very, very low on sympathy cards all the time. Okay, and uh, because we, you know, as we get older, we need those more often. Okay, so we have this ready. Uh, and we, this almost looks like um, Lost Lagoon when it's stamped off like that with the two different generations. Okay, we're going to just put this on um, with a piercing. I'm going to get that poked out with my piercing tool. Okay, I'm going to get... You could use your dimensionals. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use my little pieces of foam tape that I love so well so much. Cut a whole dish full. I'm going to put that on there fast, and they really they hold up nicely in the mail. So I'm just going to see how that just covers that. Don't press too hard until you have it on nice and straight like that. There we have it. And there's that one, and then this one. I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna put one right there. I don't have any more of the big ones cut, but that's gonna be just fine like that. And then we'll do two, like that. I use these all the time. I go through a lot of them. Uh, I think you get like seven or eight sheets in a package, big, and they last a pretty long time. There we go, and there's that one. And now for the inside. We need to make sure that we cover up. Which do you like better? Do you like the sort of the more neutral plane or with the flowers on top? Now, we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it, we wanna make sure that it goes here and it, it's not showing. You don't want it to, to be off to the side like that or hanging down there. You want it to be covered up. And so I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive on it and I'm gonna put it up here, keeping it a little bit higher than Think that looks good and we'll put that right there and this one we're going to do the same thing we're going to lift it up attach this and there we go I think don't press it too hard until you make sure okay that one worked out good and now we can put our um, little strips across the bottom so we have Do that. You make things, good things better. There we have it. Oh, things get crooked all the time, don't they? Um, I don't know how other demonstrators keep things straight, but I tend to, mine's just, my table gets to be a mess and I bump things and this gets to be, but anyway, you get the gist. So how is the volume now, Levon? Can, can you hear it and everything? Um, let's we let's get some gems out. What do I have here? Oh, I have a couple of different pieces. I have these. Um, these are the uh, rainbow adhesive dots, and there's some nice. Um, that's like a lost lagoon right there. And this one, um, this is pool party. These are the free ones that came that come with the opaque facet of gems and celebration. I love this. Pecan, that's pool party and calypso coral. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put the we're gonna put the brown ones. On this one I use the uh, peacock foil, gold foil, but we're gonna we're gonna change it up and put this on instead. Um I'm gonna put one right there. And they're gonna take two small ones and put those on the up here I don't know it's pretty stark with the brown but we'll we'll see it's um there we go and this one we're gonna put we're gonna use the blues I think so we could either use that lighter blue we could use that dark blue we could use that mm, I think we'll use this I don't know okay all these decisions we have to make. Um, looks like we'll put this one down here and we're gonna put some smaller ones on the top. There we go. Here we are and our card is finished.
And I have already made some um, envelopes. I have a couple envelopes here. Here's one that matches that one. I do like, um, I really do like making envelopes. This one I have a little bit of an edge. It's slipped off that a little bit, but it's okay too. So anyway, let's see what's where. Let's bring in the other cards. So I have, now I have a nice stash of cards on hand. Um, so here are the other ones that we, that I did before. And along with the antlers almost like the leaves. This one's very similar. This is with Lost Lagoon ink rather than the Peacock. I think I like the law. I should probably use Lost Lagoon on that one, but I like the Peacock on that. Anyway, there we go, friends. Let's, um, you like both very versions. One feminine and one more masculine. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, Deborah, good thinking. Um, let's see, I think you are, I can't, I see this. You think I'm a very organized stamper. <laughs> Thank you very much, Deborah. I try to be organized. Okay, let's flip the camera back. There we go. Let's see if you can see us now. There we go. Um, yeah, I try to be organized, and I have to be organized in order to send kits out. Um, thank, you're welcome, Deborah. I love sharing with you. I really look forward to my Tuesdays with my friends, and I hope I have inspired you, and I hope that um, that you will think about getting this the stamp set. It's a good one. Um, I would not wait too long because we only have what three weeks of celebration left and all those new things. Things are going to start running out in the celebration catalog. That's why they add um, additional items. So they're additional items. You can take a look at that. So today's bundle is called Delicate Forest. So anyway, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you so much, Kathy. Um, it's a wonderful set. I love all those arches, and we have another set with that meandering meadow. You know, with this paper, there's another stamp set that has an oval and that I've used quite a bit in this, too. So, anyway, um, I'm glad you were all joining in today, and I thank you so much. So, I hope some of you will tune in on Friday afternoon. Uh, again, those times for that craft along. You can craft on anything you want. You can bring a kit, anything you're working on, or if you would like to sort of make um, things that I do. I have sent out some of the craft along kits for people that ordered those ahead of time, so they'll have the exact kits, and then I'll have more kits to ship after the craft along. So it's $40, unless you'd like to spend $50 in my store, 50 or more, and then you will get the kit free and six cards package of dimensionals not dimensionals uh gems gems okay and everything's cut and embossed for you so the times are 11 o'clock pacific 12 mountain time one o'clock central time and two o'clock eastern time my husband's going to go take some people boating that day and i'm going to stay home and craft along with you so i have been out in our boat but i can only do a um a boat trip that's very calm and gentle and he's taking a bunch of people over across the out in the deep water at where it's rough and I can't do that yet so anyway um, it's gonna be nice weather on Friday and so he's taking people and I'm gonna stay here and um, craft along with you hopefully you'll join me I will see you next Tuesday same time and I look forward to that also have a great day everyone bye <music>